All right, so we just did the door speakers. Now I uh, would like to get these dash speakers replaced as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. I picked up these Kenwoods, um, the KFC X2Cs. So um, we're gonna sh show you how to do that. Uh, from what I know, we gotta take this pillar off right here, the A pillar, and then uh, remove that back section of the dash to pull up these um, grill covers. So let's just get started. Okay, so we got that whole half dash panel thing out. Uh, you can see, uh, got the A pillar uh, off. So there's our two, there's our one of our speakers. Looks like they're held in with a couple of bolts. Um, got the one over there. So let me uh, let me figure out what size those are, and we'll take them out. So it looks like it is a seven millimeter. So let me uh, start with this one. So this one up here by the glass takes a thinner ratchet. I had to go swap out my ratchet and I don't really have that much room to uh, work here, but we'll get it out. All right, so I'm gonna explain what I've done here. So I took the old speaker here and I um, actually just ripped the uh, connector off of it because I don't want to um, cut into the factory wiring harness. I'd rather just use this clip and plug in this harness from the new speaker into it. So I'm gonna solder onto this but I'm gonna explain a few things. So just from looking at this uh, connector, this is gonna be our negative side with the capacitor. Um, so this capacitor, and there's a capacitor here as well on this one, so this is called a um, crossover. And so what that does is it eliminates frequency um, below a certain point. So we don't want these tiny little speakers pushing bass. So this capacitor, and this capacitor cuts that out so that there is no um, low frequencies going into these speakers, which they don't need and which is not what they're designed for. So um, now if you have an amp, a lot of the times the amp has the crossover built into it. Um, eventually I'm gonna put an amp in this 
So um, I guess I'll have two crossovers or I can come in here and I can take this one out of line with this connector. But um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my negative, which is the white here. Uh, I'm gonna put it on this connector right here. Um, I'm gonna put it on this connector right here uh, that's coming off and then I'm gonna put the positive on the one that is right here that does not have the capacitor hooked into it. So the capacitor ran across here from here to here and I cut that out. I'm probably just gonna pull it off. Um, so I'll solder here and then solder negative here and solder positive. Ah, sorry, it's kind of out of focus. So I'll solder negative here and positive right here. So negative solder, positive solder. And I'm gonna clean all this up and take all that junk off, so. So while the soldering gun is getting hot, I'm gonna, I guess, explain further why I did this. Um, so if I hadn't taken this clip off, I would have had to cut the other end of the factory harness off and then splice directly into that. Well, for some strange reason, I like having um, everything kind of be backwards compatible. So I decided for me, I would rather destroy this little speaker and keep the factory harness intact than um, cut into the factory harness and cut that uh, head off of the uh, off the factory harness. So um, if I ever decide to take these speakers out and um, replace the factory system, I would have to find two small um, front dash speakers, but I will be able to just plug them back in like they were factory, like um, nothing had ever happened to the car. So that's another reason why I decided to do it like this. So I'm gonna run over and test this real quick, make sure that I've got sound coming out of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will. And then I'm gonna wrap this thing in electrical tape and uh, get the speaker set in. So it did work. Um, so now I'm gonna put electrical tape on these connectors just so that um, if it touches any bare metal in the truck, it won't um, short out and uh, sound crazy. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, speakers are in. Um, they sound 
a way better that made a huge difference over uh, the stock ones um, right now is a great time to clean this windshield uh, from the inside because we uh, definitely got a lot of hand oils right there so good time to do both sides clean it up otherwise it'd probably be really difficult to get to once the dash is back in place Alright, so that's how you install the dash speakers. Um, a little bit more involved than doing the doors, but um, glad that they're done. Uh, wasn't too complicated, wasn't too terrible. I will uh, probably update you in a couple of days of how these things sound and uh, let you know. Alright, it's been a couple of days and the dash speakers make a big difference as far as clarity. Uh, I can hear the singer's voices much better. Um, I can hear uh, hi-hats and cymbals uh, much better. Um, it made the overall system much louder. These speakers just put out way more power than the old ones. So I kind of had to push the sound a little bit further to the back to balance it out a little bit. Um, but they sound great. Uh, it just kind of added like a whole overall level of sound quality. Um, especially with the six by nines and doors doing the base uh obviously they're three ways so you're getting uh some of that component effect there but i guess with the dash speakers um also doing that you really hear the bass coming through the six by nines so it's been a great upgrade um i would definitely recommend doing your door speakers and your dash speakers if you've got the four-door truck or you know um the speakers in the back they didn't uh they didn't provide as big of a boost in sound uh, as the dash in the front doors did. But um, we're going to keep going on with this project. Got a sub and then going to amp up all these speakers and see what that sounds like. So uh, stay tuned. 